So this is our third year at Met, our second year with a model. So what we wanted to present this year was all the complements to the engine. So the displays, um, the throttles, the joysticks, um, the keyless fob and man overboard system. Um, so we're working with the Murphy displays and the Exenter controls and joysticks, um, which have been used by other big brands such as Azimu to MTU, which allow us to work with up to six engines um, with GPS, dynamic positioning system, all these features that the you know on the super yachts they appreciate quite a bit, and navigation with the joystick, which is a bit of a unique feature. Um, and then the keyless fob, which basically allows to ignite the engine without you know, an actual key, but also works as a, as a man overboard. So if somebody needs to go to the back of the boat, they don't need to take the kill cord off. And still, if they fall overboard, it still works as a man overboard, um, stopping the engine. Um, but instead of completely stopping the engine, bringing it down to idle. Um, and it has the option of allowing you to have another 10 fobs for the rest of the crew. So, you know, traditional outboards just have a man overboard system for the pilot, um, but everybody else is left at risk. So if anybody falls overboard, you know, the pilot going up, you know, 50 knots, which these planning, you know, vessels go at, um, he probably won't realize until very late. So these are the thoughts we're, we're working with and the distributor network. So we've spent a lot of time and money building a global distributor network. And um, those are the kind of two main things that we're presenting. So Cox Powertrain is a startup, um, a bit of an unusual startup uh, because we are already a team of 80 people of which 50 are development engineers and most of them come from the automotive background. Um, so we're a highly capitalized and very well financed um, startup which for the marine industry is a bit unusual and we're developing um, everything of the diesel outboard from scratch, so from the crankshaft outwards. So diesel engine development normally is limited to companies like Caterpillar, uh, John Deere, MTU, big, you know, big companies, which, because it's a very capital intense um, investment. Um, so what we're trying to do is carry out that sort of um, investment, but for small boats. So below the uh, six, 700 horsepower rating. Um, so our CEO, Tim Rootsis, um, he used to be the CEO at Cosworth, so he comes from an automotive kind of motor racing background, and so do most of our engineers. Um, and then the sales and marketing department, we more, normally have more of a marine background and we bridge the gap between the automotive approach and the marine application to make sure that you know, we deliver the right product and give the right service. Well, hopefully at the end of next year, we will start taking orders. So we're setting up our factory in Brighton, um, in Shoreham Airport, where we have the other two facilities. Um, that will be a final assembly and testing facility. We'll be setting up another facility in Fort Lauderdale, uh, in Florida, which will be there to serve the US market. Um, we're gonna have the test engines or the demo engines coming out. Um, probably around about Q3 next year and then Q4 hopefully we'll open the order book and start taking orders so an exciting year. <laughs>